What's up, gamers? <laughs> you know, I probably should have waited for the title to appear, but you know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I Too late. I, I, look here. I have a. I have a an energy drink. I'm excited. I'm ready. And it's eleven o'clock at night. Well, I mean, I have work in a few hours, so. Ocarina was... of Time 3D: The Legend of Gajelda. Co-developed by Grezzo. I, I don't think Grezzo had anything to do with the original game, but okay. Yeah, they just ported it on the 3DS. Um, and I think they also ported, uh, I almost said Smash Mouth. What the? What? <laughs> they ported Smash Mouth! <laughs> Somebody <laughs> wants to I meant, I meant to say Majora's Mask. Where did Smash yeah, they did. Mouth come from? <laughs> Maybe you were thinking Smash Brothers for a second and you thought Smash and... Oh, well, it's gotta be Smash Mouth. <laughs> Apparently they're they're singing All Star. <laughs> yes. Uh, All right, I'm gonna hit uh, start. <laughs> but yeah, as you right. probably already noticed, I'm playing the, the game on an emulator. There are gonna be some audio hiccups. It's nothing crazy, but it's noticeable. Where the fuck is the file select? Oh, it's on the uh, I, It's, it's on here. The touch it's screen. on my touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm just looking at a sky here, and I'm like, what is and going the, on? Yeah, moving on. So, just so everyone knows, uh, better make the name Yoga Doctor. It's very important. Oh, I know. Uh, can you see um, my mouse? Yes, I can. I don't know if it. W oh wait, yeah, that means it'll pop up on. Uh, yep, OBS. it does. Because I can't remember if I left it on or not. I'll leave it because it's a touch screen, so it's fine. Yeah. And just so everyone knows, the touch screen in this game, uh, it's it's not super important. Um, yes, it is. For... <laughs> well, it's not super important as in it's not like a huge huge gimmick that requires your app like people's focus on the touch screen as a matter of fact people probably don't even have to look at the touch screen <laughs> uh, we'll get to that <laughs> friendly note i have not played the 3ds version of this game you need to use the touch screen on a regular basis also a friendly note i am forcing this man to play through the master quest dungeons <laughs> yeah funny Speaking of which, uh, how I'm going to do that for you is I'm going to personally make a save uh, a save state on an, the Nintendo 64 version, well, the quote-unquote Nintendo 64 version. Um, I love how we're just letting the cuts intro play and we're just not caring. <laughs> uh, I'll explain it in a little bit. It this okay, so The second thing about the Zelda games, I don't know if we said this at all during Majora's Mask, but that's the less story-driven. But the thing is, like, it's all text, so it's kind of awkward when you're Let's Playing. I don't mind as much when it's text boxes, but when it's auto-scrolling... Although yeah, then again, that... Wind Waker, we have no excuse. Oh my god, Ganon, what did they do to you? I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't seen this version of the game, so a lot of stuff is really weird. <laughs> it's like, I had the same reaction when I saw him on N64 the first time. I was like, holy shit, this looks awful. <laughs> I thought that said, come Hitler. <laughs> that was actually my first interpretation for- <laughs> Navi! Navi, where art thou? Come Hitler! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, maybe this energy drink was a bad mustache. Ooh, that is a nice mustache. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words. The words of Deku Tree. Or the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kogiri Forest! It's in green, it's important. The source of life has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. I demand voicing Kithora Kabora. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That, I, I'm gonna voice that when I can, but... I mean, within reason. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to I, do I Malin, for example. I, I would say the story stuff is worth uh, reading over. Yeah. Why not? It's a story game, so, you know. But before this tremendous evil, even my hour is as nothing. I, I think this guy took some uh, poetry lessons from Ganondorf. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> it seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. Is that kind of mean? But it's, it's just a guy that doesn't have a fairy. And you're a fairy. I'm a fairy. The youth whose destiny is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Isn't that backward? Whatever. 
Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. My mustache is getting smaller. Fly, <laughs> Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. I was not expecting you to say the, the mustache thing. <laughs> I mean, it's equally threatening. Hey, this is I like this musical cue. It's like da 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 I mean, Justin Carter, who's gonna voice Navi now? Oh, dude, I'm the voice of Navi? Sure, take it. I was asking who was gonna do it, but you can have it. Oh, I, I thought you said he was gonna do it. I was like, whoa, here we go. <clears throat> Hello, young guy, doctor, wake up. <laughs> I was expecting Goofy, but that works too. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you, young guy, doctor. Get up. Can't wait for this to totally change by part two. <laughs> hey, come on, man. <laughs> Wake up. Did Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Freaking dummy. Maybe I should just have an energy drink before every recording session. I mean, this is going considerably better. <laughs> <laughs> Finally woke up, amateur. I'm Navi. I'm a fairy. I mean, he's what, seven? The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. I hope you like listening to me telling you to listen. Wait, no, no, not really. The great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. If we don't, I'm actually banning you. Well, he nodded in talk? agreement. Do you talk? Hey. Hey, hey, let me out. You didn't talk. Uh, Get me out of here. Uh, Help. Help. I'm being abducted. <laughs> that, that's, that's Navi. Uh, who's the voice of Saria? Uh, I made you take... I was told to Saria. It doesn't even matter. Saria's kind of a minor character. She's only important at the beginning. Yahoo! Hi! You can... Jesus Christ! <laughs> even worse than Navi. Well, I gotta commit. <laughs> what the? What the fuck? <laughs> wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Yogiter. <laughs> wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. No, you're true, Kukiri Yogiter. She's going through a lot of different emotions. <laughs> Is that right? The great Deku Tree has summoned you. Now she's goofy. <laughs> It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Man. Go see the Great Deku Tree. What the fuck? Get, get me away from her. <laughs> I couldn't decide on a voice, so I picked all of them. Uh, I call voicing this schmuck. All yours. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy! What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man! What? You're not a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you! What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This isn't funny. As a matter of fact, fuck you! I don't believe it! You aren't even fully equipped yet! As a matter of fact, you're also ugly! How do you think you're gonna help the Great Deku Tree without both the sword and shield? Come on, man! I mean, he's right. What? You're right! I don't have my equipment ready! But... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip the shield! And sword! Sheesh! Stupid! This guy really looks like Peter Pan. Like, I realize Peter Pan was the inspiration for Link, so it kind of makes sense, but still. Was he really? I wouldn't mm -hmm. doubt it. Yeah. Uh, the design, at least. Was that, like, confirmed? Yeah. Miyamoto confirmed it a while back. I don't remember when, but it was confirmed. Remember to walk inside the bushes to get rupees. 
Oh, right, you mean like over here? Yeah. Because <clears throat> we're going to need 40 of them, I believe. Yes, you also want to know of something obscure, which I don't even know if you're going to know, if you actually know about. Uh, go get the sword first. Uh, yes. Because that way I can explain this to you, because it's, like, really weird. <clears throat> oh, talk to the sign, of course. Thrust attack! You can't use a sword, stupid. Uh... You can't use a sword, stupid. Are you ready for something interesting? Okay. Oh, um, never mind, that works. <laughs> pull the bell. Okay, so don't move anything. Stop. Don't, don't, don't go in there. Okay, so back away, back away. Uh, see that rock next to the dude? Or, no, no, not that one. Next to the dude. On, on the left. Backflip. What the? <laughs> now do it to the other rocks. Okay, that one didn't work. Uh, no, okay. There you go. There's some rupees. <laughs> yeah. That's... I never knew. Oh, Navi has something to say. Okay, this is important. The great deck of tree has summoned you. Please come with me. And yes, I'm going to answer all of Navi's calls. So, I don't uh, care about... that I'm that kind of person. That seeing Navi taking up the space will drive me nuts, so... Man, I, I should... They, they should have asked me to voice Navi. Hey, listen. Watch out. Look. Fuck you. Oh wait, no, Navi doesn't say that. Might as well. Backflip, hold doesn't. on, hold on. Go there, and then backflip off that sign. I know, you set off the sign. What the- Yeah, you're, you're close. I can't! You're too close. You have to lock onto it. No, you have to lock onto the sign. I thought you said- and then I, I, meant, I meant lock onto the sign and backflip. Okay, I don't think it works here. Never mind. I thought it did, but I guess not. More yeah, money. It's, it's really, it's really weird. I don't know why they they made it like such an obscure thing that you, you backflip if you backflip while uh, targeting a rock, it gives you. I mean, it kind of makes sense too because the tutorial there teaches you about the the L uh, button. Yeah. But it's it's equally weird because it's like what? <laughs> but there we go. He got a sword. Oh, right, I have to actually put the first. There we go. So, um, just so everyone knows, so people get a, a good idea, you should probably destroy some of the signs, too. Like, the signs... <laughs> <are there. laughs> I, I think they I'm out of power! I, I, no, no, I, no, they really don't. I thought they gave rupees, but I, I guess I'm wrong. Maybe some do. I'm out of power! <laughs> and then don't forget to lift the rocks. I think they give some, like, five rupees also. Um, but anyways, just so everyone knows, oh, I saw that pop in. Uh, just so everyone knows how we, um, are gonna divide a lot of these parts. Um, you can actually backflip off these rocks again, by the way. I think you should be able to, at least. I think some of them are very specific angles also. It's really weird. Nope, that one doesn't work. Not all of them work. I think it's just like these. Okay, never mind. They just, they don't. I thought they reset because you went to like a slightly different area. I would just pick it up. Because you get some rupees for it. Pick it up. Why won't I let you pick it? Oh, you gotta put away your sword. I'm trying to. Hello? There's a lot of things binding to the same button, okay? Rock? Are the rocks just glued to the floor? Maybe those two are, but maybe not the one next to Because that guy literally teaches you about this kind of stuff. Or maybe, maybe you can't pick up these rocks. Huh. He hasn't said anything about rocks yet. Okay, no, he just says to lock oh. onto the stone, that's it. You have to backflip to get the rupees, I know that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of the grass, I guess. Um, but anyway, <laughs> how we're going to split these parts uh, definitely is, is really up for debate, um, but I am making him do uh, a dungeon has to be done in one part. Uh, because that is an OCD thing. If he was to stop, I would be really pissed. That not might not necessarily happen every part. There might be some parts that are dedicated to side quests, but yeah, yeah. But like, there's there's also gonna be probably parts specifically dedicated to um, uh, just like a dungeon. Okay, uh, there's enough. Yeah. There, it's the house down the hill. Is what you're thinking of. <clears throat> no, not talking. To her, she's kind of crazy. 
I like one. crazy girls. They're wild. How old do you think everyone is here? Do you think any of these people? I, I feel like some of these people are like a hundred years old. I was gonna say six hundred. I wonder. Hold on. I'm actually gonna Google Saria and see if it has like an age for her. I got a recovery heart. I feel so accomplished. Alright, there we go. I got my 40 rupees. How old is Saria? This is a very good question. I always get... I, I don't know. It's always those, like, small things that really get me interested about, like, um... Like, this, like, what, for people that live forever, and especially when they're, like, a childlike form, like, when they're literally... They look like they're 10, but they're actually, like, 800. It's hey, always something that's... Look this way! Look, go here with Ellen. Talk to you today! I'm yeah, like, you're totally yeah. insane like it is, Saria. Yes, yes! That's how you use a fairy! So good you finally have a fairy partner! Try to talk to people using your fairy! Fairy flies near a person or a thing, press L to look in that direction! Use L targeting, you can talk to people from a distance, like we're doing now! Oh. If you have nothing you can look at a target, you can press L, but just look forward! I never knew how to look forward before in my entire life! This, this changes everything! How old is Saria? I don't think there's a definitive answer to this. How old are the Kokiri? Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a five ruby just hidden back there. Yep. In a shop, of mm -hmm. course. We sell shields, but not swords! We yeah, sell no, shields, but to, not you, swords! You have to steal the sword. <laughs> Do you have 40 rubies? I can't see yep, a ruby 57. Down. I know, it's kind of grayed out. Well, the, the screen's kind of small. I could probably make it a little bit bigger, but Citra unfortunately has presets for the screens. Again, as far as I'm aware, that that screen is not too important. I mean, the top not... screen's definitely more important. Yeah. It, it's If I had to guess, it's probably like a 90 to 10 ratio of importance. I would say 80-20. Jeez. In freaking uh, Majora's Mask, it's like 10% even. Is there like some gimmicks that they forced on this game or something? No, it's it's about the same as it is Majora's Mask. I guess we just have a different oh. idea of what's important because uh, I like using the touch buttons for the items a lot. Oh yeah, I don't do that. I just press the buttons, the keys rather. Hey, I'm not wasting this, and he's just like, yeah, Good I, boy. I know, I'm just skipping through it. Well, oh, even with all that stuff, <laughs> oh, I'd agree. I'll never accept you! I'll never accept you! So, do you really want to be the favorite of Saria? Apparently, uh, yeah, I mean, dude, Saria is like in love with Link. Haiki, nah, they're just high. They're just good friends. They're like, it's like that relationship where you're like best friends and you're basically family. At least that's what I always got out of them. I found a stick. I feel so accomplished. Hey guys, welcome to the weapon with the same amount of power as the Master Sword. Unfortunately, not a joke. <laughs> it's the most bizarre thing. <laughs> Whatever. Um, here's a fun little fun. Uh, here's here's a good little fun fact though about um, the Kokiri. According to a developer interview, um, the Kokiri only linger for a while until they go into the Lost Woods and disappear. Uh, if, um, Inevitably, or, or... By the way, that's an obvious line. Oh! Uh, Ray Deku Tree, I'm back. I don't know if I say get Deku Tree again. It was just... Oh, what? oh, Nobby! Thou hast returned! Yogiter! Welcome! Don't worry, Yoga I don't know how to pronounce our username either. It's it's Yogi Doctor. Come on. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree... I'm about to tell thee. You're gonna die. <laughs> Please, find the master sword and shave my stash. Why would he want to shave it? What the? <laughs> because it's falling off, and he wants someone to shave it for him. It's gonna look so nice. Never, so it never disappears. Exactly. Oh, that's great. Dice lumber. These past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Oh, you mean that guy in a horse? 
So yeah, he seemed like a nice guy. Yogata! The time has come to test thy courage! I have been cursed! This mustache! I'm sorry, I'll, I'll drop the mustache <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Just not now. I need to, thee to break the curse with thy wisdom and courage! Dost thou have the courage enough to undertake this task? Nope, goodbye. Perhaps thou dost not yet have confidence in thy abilities. Return to Kogiri Forest to learn these skills to come. Oh, is he actually gonna make me go through it, all this again? Without. Oh um, my gosh, yes. <laughs> I, I have no joke. idea. I have no idea, but, uh. But Majora's Mask 3D runs perfect on Citra. Fun fact. Yeah, I know. When thou art ready, return here and speak to me by using L. Okay. Hello. I'm ready. Good. I've, res Goodbye. I've reflected for about three seconds, and I've decided I'm ready. So this is a very short uh, dungeon, so I could say we could probably do this in this part still. Because there's a lengthy cutscene, especially. Hold on. Gonna... My stupid j jokes come back. Okay, yeah, we're starting right back from here again, so I'm just going to skip to that point. <laughs> then I enter brave yoga doctor. And thou too, Navi. I hope Yo, he man, tastes good. Wanna... I don't want to be with this kid. Get me out of here. <laughs> Navi the, the fairy, thou must be a yogi doctor. Man, fuck this kid. <laughs> yogi doctor, when Navi speaks, use the creepy fairy button to listen well to her words of wisdom. No, man, don't press that button. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm just like side Navi talking. So tell everyone how long it took you to beat this dungeon for the first time. What was it? It was like an hour. I'm I'm gonna have to slap you. <laughs> it's it's a long time. Oh I'm yeah, I found an item I will never use. I'm still ma what you have to use it in this dungeon. Maybe I'll use like once or twice. It, you have to to beat the boss in this no, dungeon. You don't. Well, you better do it because it makes the, it. Seven I never times do. Easier. You should because it makes it seven times easier. Um, but yeah, uh, I did mention this at the beginning, but I am making you do hero mode. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a save state before every single dungeon, so you don't have to actually go through the game again. It's your cue. Oh, look at this wall, man. The vines grow on growing on it, give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it. Maybe you can also fall off. Well, one way to find out. <laughs> Whee! Oh, I'm okay. Damn it, he's alive. <laughs> My plan has been foiled. <laughs> so, in the 3DS version of this game, did they increase the first wallet, or is the first wallet still 99? It's movies? still 99. Cap the only game that changed that, to my knowledge, is Wind Waker. Uh, I believe they also did for um, Twilight Princess. They might I, have. I guess it was, I guess it's after that point they made it a lot. But yay, we or, get the map right away, Wind Waker. Wind Waker, it it happens in this game where they don't give you the map until like nearly the halfway point, and then they give you the compass at the halfway point. It's just this is the that, first dungeon, so they're just giving you the map. <laughs> Pay true, that happens what sometimes. the action icon says. Press A. A. You know, we probably don't have to do the tutorial stuff. It's just tutorial. Like, we don't have to read that off. We just skip ahead. I mean, Navi is the tutorial character. That That's all she does. She does say a, a few words. She's not as talkative as Tattle, but... Like, in terms of, like, talking with the plot. Uh, I stuff. guess I'll do some. Yo, yo, yo! Forgive me, master! If I give you a tip, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold... Stick forward, you will roll on the ground when you land! You won't get hurt from the fall! I can't really guarantee if it'll work though! The cliff is really, really high! <laughs> Try it if you're feeling bold! I was legitimately about to say this guy- what the fuck? Link just did a spin. Yes, I was gonna say- I was gonna say this guy is a liar because you can kill yourself by yes. doing- imagine- imagine all the kids that are like, oh my goodness! And then they jump off a cliff and they just- plummet to their demise confused they're like the game lied to me 
little Jimmy's upset. The Finally, something to actually slings. be excited about. Well, I mean, the sticks are pretty cool, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, the Deku's... Honestly, I think the Deku sticks are better than this. <laughs> They're so good. Also, the slingshot, you can't hit things that have, like, a shield in front of them. Well, I mean, enemies like the Skulltulas, which we're about to actually see one. Um, I so. feel so accomplished. I found an out... A kind of out of the way treasure chart, or I'm so used to Wind Waker. Treasure, treasure, treasure chest. Chart. Wind Waker has ruined me. <laughs> Guys, he, look at the treasure chart. He got a heart from the. Imagine that you get a heart from the treasure chart. Now that sounds terrible. Hey, hey, what does this song sound like to you? The dolphin on the Genesis. <laughs> Why won't you say him by name? He, if I don't say him by his name, he doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, I love it. If I can't see it, it's not there. Great logic, right? I mean, it's flawless. I think. It's flawless now. If it wasn't flawless, it is now. Beautiful. If it makes you feel better, I just sent my friend uh, Echo the Dolphin's first level song. <laughs> Do you actually hate your friend? I hate that game. <laughs> Honestly, legitimately, I could get a password to the last level, and you could play this game for five hours, and I'd still probably be on the last level. <laughs> and you beat it before. You know what you have to do. Uh, I, I think I only learned the first fourth of the level, before, <laughs> like, by heart. <laughs> pretty crazy maybe I should get um, an Amazon Alexa machine and then say Alexa play Echo the Dolphin <laughs> maybe it'll pull a Skyrim and just decide to turn to a text based adventure there's enemies on every side the levels of 6 bit auto scroller what do you do Quit Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> Another recovery heart in a chest. By the way, first Skull Skull Chill, really expect me to go after plenty of these. I don't. I doubt I'll go after all of them, but I'll go for the ones I know where they are. Regardless of Will if they're in the way or not. at least give it a try? Sure. Um, as best as you can. At least for this like one, I... if you really insist on me doing Master Quest, then I'm not going to bother at all for that. No, well, for Master. No, no. Master Quest, what I'm going to do. Because the only thing that really matters in Master Quest are the dungeons. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to just play the um, the N64 version. Um, well, the ported version. Somebody ported it from emulator to N64 because it was an emulated Nintendo 64 game on the Scopus. GameCube. Yep. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play um, play each dungeon. I'm gonna play for each dungeon. And I'm gonna put a save state before each dungeon. So that way you have a save state for every dungeon. I'll probably get all the heart pieces too, because why not? Um, that way I can also prepare you. So I'm not just like, here, ha have fun in the last dungeon in the game. Three hearts. <laughs> because um, Master Dungeon has enough uh, to be worth covering, specifically just the dungeons. That's the only difference they did uh, for the game. Um, it is definitely worth a look at, and you've never done Master Dungeon and when you, or Master Quest. So when you get to, so when you get to do that, I'm not letting you practice ahead of time. I won't be able to. I would probably just go for all this. You know, the normal game. Wait, what do you mean? I mean, I still have my other save file. You do, but I, I'd, I'd rather just set up Master Quest save states for you, so you don't have to play through the game again. Can I get this one to start jumping, or do I have to come back here? Roll off the that uh, edge right there, or jump off rather. 
There's only one section that you have to backtrack. Yeah, in this I think dungeon. I got all of them I can. And this is the only dungeon in the entire game that requires you to backtrack to 100% everything. And that's just to get a skull to lock. Uh, uh, the second one requires you to backtrack. That's it? I don't think it does. Mm -hmm. I think it can require you to backtrack. I believe you're able to do things It's a bit correctly. more of a mess than this one. I'll explain it when we're off camera, but it's it's a little different. It's been a while, so I wouldn't doubt it. When I'm setting, when I'm going through Master Quest, I'll, I'll know. For all I know, I might get to I might get to the second dungeon in Master Quest before you do. I mean, that wouldn't it be just that unreasonable. Yeah. Oh yes, you thinks. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something really cool. Route twenty three is the number one. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. So just two, three, one. Twenty-three is the number one. Do you think I'm a traitor? Yes. I will. He I'll let you guys know. Master Quest version is definitely not that. <laughs> uh, are you able to conveniently see Skype? Um, I can open it up on my other monitor. Uh, I, I want you to see something. I was just looking at another chat really quickly with one of my friends. I just want you to see this. Oh, Navi message. Oh. After you, after you dive in, after you get into the water and you hold down A, you can dive. And this. Don't come back up. You can hold <laughs> down L while underwater. You can change your view. But there's some interesting things down there. You know, your body could be down there potentially too. Okay! I like how I like how I've turned him into like a psychopath at this point. And I've kind of just turned like into an idiot. Okay. Look okay. At I, look at that image I sent though, and weep. That's horrible. I cried. I like, cried so it, it's hard. It's a Super Mario Odyssey picture of uh, Luigi's <laughs> Balloon World. It's just an absolutely <laughs> devious location. No, but I don't think the thing you understand is I missed it. That's me touching it after I ran out of time. I also, can't you see that part. Oh, well, yeah, you, that's impossible to see. It's just when you do the look around part, it shows you after you run out of time. Oh, yay. Just stand next to this block and grab hold of it with A. While holding A, you can push or pull it. I also heard you can pick it up and kill yourself with it. Ooh, you stand next try. to the block and press A while pressing forward toward the block. You can climb on top of it. You know, maybe you can die that way. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Honestly, if Navi just said at the beginning that we'd be good, yeah. <laughs> like, like, like the entire thing would be covered. Oh, I forgot the blocks are different um, in this version of the game. I'm so used to the uh, original blocks. I'm not a fan of that symbol. I still prefer the other one. I, I know why they changed it, and it's understandable, but I prefer the other one. Man, I, I know I played through the Master Quest version of this dungeon, like, like a, like a few weeks back, or like a week or two or something ago. I think it might have been actually like a month. But either way, it, it is, like, so noticeably different. Like, I'm just looking at this all confused. Also, pro tip for everyone that has the Kafiri sword, don't jump attack these guys. You're 100% going to get hit if you do it. Yeah, no. Especially because we have so many Deku sticks. Just, just use those. Yeah, if you really want to get rid of them in one shot, just do that. And this is where we Yeah, this go. is the backtracking spot. I think there's like three golden Skulltillas down there. It's kind of crazy. I want to say there's only one, but I could be wrong. It might be. I mean, it would make sense if there was only one, but a part of me wants to say there was, they, like, tucked a few in there just to just to be nice. Oh, I know what you're talking about in, in the second dungeon. You need the hover boots, I think. Don't you? Do you? I think. I think I know. I don't know if you need the hover boots, but I think I know what you're talking about. It's like the second room you go in. Oh wait, no, 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 you need the boomerang is what I'm thinking of. Wait, why are you getting the fire from this? There's 
Oh wait, never mind. I'm dumb. I wasn't paying attention. I thought I thought there was fire on the other platform. I was like, wait a minute. What are you doing? Wee. And if you guys want to have fun, I don't know if it works in this version of the game, but if you hit the wall that you can climb with your sword, it will throw you backwards it does. and you will land. It's great. You because you will land on this platform. So two, like, three, this one. game is uh, annoyingly similar to the N64 one. By that I mean they literally copy paste the code and they couldn't fix it. They got what? S said this version is infuriatingly similar to the N64 version, and they tried to sell it off as a feature back when the game was being marketed. No, they literally couldn't fix it. Well, there was a lot of glitches. The they, there, there was a lot of glitches. They said that they inten intentionally. Yeah, that was a lie. What do you mean? I, so I they, it's been it. confirmed, like that they couldn't fix it, so they just left it in. Well, I'm actually kind of happy that they kept it that way. I, I prefer when people remaster certain games. They're like, yeah, let's keep this bit in. Like like the Crash Insane trilogy. They kept a lot of stuff in that you would think they would fix, but they didn't. So, How did you know our secrets? How irritating! It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secrets of Queen Goma to you. Your dead mister, the Coupe de Grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that. Do you think I'm a traitor? Why does he spin every time? Because <laughs> in, in 64 game, I don't know. I think when the, the enemy disappears, they, like, fly upwards off screen. Might be. And he's still, like, locked onto them. I don't think I really need that there, but... Please actually use the Deku nuts here, otherwise I will be really frustrated with you. It's a fast boss anyway. Wow, you look identical to the N64 model. Like, one to one. Holy moly. Yeah. Use the Deku. Stop it. Use the Deku stick. Or Deku. Yeah, there you go. Why aren't you jump, jump slashing them? Didn't you say not to? No, no, jump slash Goma, not jump slash the skull. Oh, also, I almost forgot. If... This is important. Goma. It's one of the parasitic monsters inside the Deku tree. Its eye is vulnerable when it's red. You know, or you can just keep attacking it and die. I like how I saw your mouse. No, no, you have to wait until it's on the ground. Oh, tell me. Wow! Even I even learned, learned something from the DA. I always thought you had to wait for it. <laughs> nope, that's how I always did it. Just snipe it down. And then I was still there. Interesting. I, I, I honestly didn't know that. I thought you had to let him or let her lay her eggs and then when she's down you can No, I've never her. had to deal with that. I only knew wow. that it laid eggs because I've seen LPs out of the game. You got a heart container. That means your maximum life. Energy has been increased by one heart, and your life energy is totally filled. Yay! Whee, so right, let's just run around the circle for a second. Wee! Oh <laughs> darn it! You're just like I wonder if there's anything else in here. I'm pretty sure I have a tail. I need to confirm uh, this. I like how like like Link doesn't even like. He's woken up and is like, yo, man, Deku Tree needs you. And then Deku Tree's like, please help me. And Link's just like, okay. Please. Like, he just doesn't give a shit. If I was a kid, I would have been like, and I'm gone. <laughs> well done, Yoga Der. Why is my mouth still gaping open? Thou yeah, that hast severely demonstrated thy courage. What you said should have been his next line of dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Okay, but the his woodst mustache is just, still looks the same. The woodst is just too much. Like, why? Now I have more to tell thee. Would thou listen? So I what if I say so no? I was gonna say I would tell you to say no, but I'm afraid that it'll like fuck something up. <laughs> yeah, after the last sure time. Like, oh, that's too bad. Just I'm pretty tell sure me that, when you're ready. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was gonna, like, be a situation where you have to deal with it. Let's say no. So, 
Okay, do it, do it, do it. No, you're gonna tell us now. My time is short. <laughs> But I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's important. So no is the correct answer here. I guess you get more content. Uh, now listen carefully. A wicked man of the deserts cast this dreadful curse upon me. Uh, look, man, I am so sorry. Uh, it was 2 a.m. in the morning. I, I couldn't see where I was going. Before I knew it, I was out in the right middle of the forest. I thought you... I swear, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> <laughs> It was a mistake. I pointed at the wrong thing. <laughs> it's even worse because for those of you that don't know, I actually do live in a desert. <laughs> yep, exactly. I can actually make that joke. So, so you know, it's it's actually him. <laughs> this evil bit. Like, I'm sorry. So he mostly <laughs> uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in this sacred realm that one will find the divine relic. The Triforce contains the essence of the gods. Why don't you just make it impossible to get gods, you dumbasses? <laughs> like... Because everyone in Hyrule is an idiot. Yeah, I'm like we already established. I'm not reading over text to auto scrolls because there's no way we can read in time. Yeah, it's just uh, he basically. This is a lore dump how... anyway. Yeah, he tells you how the world was formed. There's Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. And Faror, the goddess of courage. I love how none I of think... this was relevant until Breath of the Wild, and that was only because the dragons. What? Wait, what? It's like none of this was relevant until Breath of the Wild, and that was only because of the dragons. I mean, it's kind of relevant for Skyward Sword. <laughs> sort of. I, I mean, I guess it's kind of relevant before. for the Oracle games and the Minish Cap, but... So yeah, basically you should just say, you know, one person did this, one per or one god did this, one god did that, one god did this. One god made the sky. You know, because fuck science. Science? Oh, a seance! Yeah, that's, that's very scientific. <laughs> With their three forces, they stopped Mojo Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that one coming, I don't know. And by the way, I'm glad to see that they actually kept this from the N64. Because I actually remember the N64 model, it also had this glitchy bottom. It's just. Yeah. I'm glad they kept it. <laughs> Whether they like a choice the or not. Is, it's like always shaded for some reason. Mm -hmm. so like there's no shadow for some reason. It's really weird. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Look, okay, <laughs> but was I wearing black that day? Oh crap, I actually am wearing black. <laughs> crap. That's not even a joke. <laughs> Thou must never suffer that man. Or this, this evil heart. To head to the sacred really realm of legend. It'd be really inconvenient if we made a fucking horrible mistake and everything went wrong and we had to fix it seven years later. That's impossible. Definitely. You just ignore that image that we have there on the upper right hand side of the screen. That is completely irrelevant to everything that's going to happen. Uh, yeah, it's from a different game. <laughs> that evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. I wasted your time. Pretty but much. at least you got a slingshot. Yes, I will pass away soon. But do not grieve for me. I don't even know you. <laughs> I've been able to tell you of these important matters. Also, I like how Link is sitting down now. Oh, yeah. Like, story time! Uh, yeah, he probably just <laughs> half fell asleep during that lecture. Th this is Hyrule's final hope. And yes, oh like you God. kind of hinted at before, I would love to see his response to Kimura Kimura. Yogadar, go to Hyrule Castle. There thou will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with thee. The stone the man wanted so much that he cast a curse upon me. Hey, no, I didn't Before give two shits about a stone. Before we end this part and after like uh, this cutscene, 
I need to just explain something, a few things that really irk me about this cutscene. And, they, and it makes sense on why it irks me when I say it. You'll be like, yeah, you know, that is actually pretty stupid. Whoa, the Kokiri's Emerald. It's, this is the spiritual stone of the forest, now trusted to you by the great Deku Tree. He has to go back and forth between Deku and Deku deal with it. Uh, the I'm future sure depends right. upon the yoga doctor. Thou art courageous. But not really anything else. Should Shouldst thou ever lose thy way, seek a vision of the path from the Sheikah Stone that stands beside thy home. By the way, How that doesn't even work on the emulator. It, it, it brings the emulator to its knees. So I'm not Good. using that. I mean, not like you honestly need it. This game is really straightforward. I don't really see a point on how somebody could get particular. Maybe, yeah, barring a few sections, I don't see how people could get lost not knowing what to do. The funny thing is, like, I actually needed the help, and it didn't even help me. I couldn't figure out what the hint was trying to say. So it doesn't oh. even do its purpose. Navi the fairy, help Yoga Doctor to carry out my will. I entreat I thee, Navi. Good Bye. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Is he dead? I'm pretty sure he's dead. We can leave now, right? He's gray. That means he's dead. <laughs> Let's go play hooky! School's now he's time to talk. out for Let's summer! Let's go to Hyrule Castle, man. It's not like we have anything better to do. <laughs> Goodbye, great Deku Tree. Fuck you for leaving me with this kid. <laughs> Seriously, why'd you have to do that? <laughs> and then he goes back. Great. All right, so let me. So before we end this part, let me just let me just explain one reason why I hate. Okay, after you talk to this guy. Hey, yo, hey, you're my doctor. Oh, yeah, you did the voice. That's right. What did he do? <laughs> the great Deku Tree. Did he? Did he die? How could you let a thing like that happen? It's all your fault. I hereby banish you. Or I just angrily walk away. <laughs> okay, so, so back to the cutscene. Um, one thing that I hate about the Deku Tree is he's trying to tell you, like, oh, it is your destiny. You must do this and you must protect the, the world. Blah, 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 blah. Why doesn't he just straight up say, by the way, please, the name of the guy is Ganondorf to look out for. And the person you need to meet is fucking Zelda. No, it's why, why, a guy from the desert and the princess of destiny. It's very important. Like, it, it's so vague. I hate it when they do shit like that. It's not just this game. Like, it, it's games and movies oh, when yeah. they're always like, you're a part of a greater destiny, but I will not tell you this very important information. Even though I very obviously know. Yeah, like, imagine a kid just fucking walks around. He has, like, all the death, like, he, his destiny and all this shit. And he's just like, uh, hey, guys, um, so there's this guy in the desert. He's bad. He's a bad man. Um, nobody's gonna fucking believe him, first of all. And second of all, he doesn't even have a name. He's just like, uh, yeah, it's just this bad guy from the desert. I don't even know what he looks like, uh, but he's from the desert. Um, I mean, at least in this game, they have a, they have a reason with there's only one person in the Gerudo. Thing. Like at least that that narrows it down. But seriously, why couldn't they? They haven't be like... really established that yet. Like, did they establish that in any of the previous games? I want no, to say it's, no. It's it's this game. They establish it. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it really bugs me that he's not just like, you you know, make sure Ganondorf doesn't get the the Triforce and and make sure that you meet up with Princess Zelda as she will protect you, sort of thing. Like it it it, ugh, it uh, bugs me so much. All right, now talk to this freak before we end the part. I need to know what she says. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are you going? To the castle? Where's the <laughs> castle? <laughs> so she gets really crazy later on. Or one of them does. Oh, yeah. She's the one who sits in cook uh, in the Lost Woods, huh? Oh, yeah. Actually, it might be her instead, but they're all kind of the same. What? They look the same. Exactly. One of them's crazy. What? Well, um, I guess that's the end of this part because that was the dungeon and at this point we kind of have like a relatively long stretch before we get to the next dungeon. So if yeah, I had the to take a guess, the next part might actually just be side quests. Well, uh, not all not side quests. Side quests and main stuff, but no dungeon. There is not enough side quests to justify uh, a full part. Basically how I see it is we're probably just going to get to the dungeon, do what we can like before the dungeon, and then end the part 
when we get to the dungeon, and then the part after that will be the dungeon itself. Because the next dungeon actually takes longer than, like, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> so, yeah. But there's there's not going to be nearly as much exposition dump dumping as Yay. a... That, that's, honestly, that's probably the only really big exposition dump in the game, and it kind of sucks for subsequent playthroughs because you can't skip it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but we will see you guys in the next part, um, where we play video games called Legend of Koopta, Majora's Butt. Wrong or game, wait, Ocarina of Butt. Uh, Legend of Koopta, uh, Ocarina of Tush. That works too. Uh, see you guys next year. Uh, goodbye.